What's up guys, welcome back to Tech Phantom. And in this video, we'll be taking a deep comparison between the all newly launched MediaTek Dimensity 810 versus the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G. Now the MediaTek Dimensity 810 is being seen on the newly launched smartphones such as the Redmi Note 11 series or the Poco M4 Pro and not only that on the Lava smartphone, Lava Agni 2. Whereas the Snapdragon 778G is generally seen between the phones priced under 25,000 and even at the 30,000 rupees. Well, this one is going to be an in-depth comparison, so hold on to your seats and consider subscribing to our channel Tech Phantom so you never miss an update from us. So now that you have done that, let's get started. So starting off with the launch date, the MediaTek Dimensity is newly launched and it's launched in August 2021, whereas the Snapdragon has been launched in May 2021. Now talking about the CPU architecture, then both of these indeed are an octa-core processor and the MediaTek one is a 64-bit and the Snapdragon is a Cryo 670. Now talking about the CPU cores of these processors then the MediaTek Dimensity comes with a different approach with the two cores at high power at Cortex A76 and six cores of power efficient at Cortex A55 at 2 GHz. Now this thing is a decent one for the smartphones under 20,000 but the Snapdragon comes with a better approach with a one core of 2.4 GHz power core and three cores at 2.2 GHz and four cores of 1.9 GHz Cortex A55. Now clearly a Snapdragon is the better one. Now talking about the processor fabrication, how well the performance is better on these processor and the battery capacity also the. Then both of these processor do come to the 6 nanometer and both of these processor are equally power efficient processors. Now moving our focus towards the gaming side, how well you can game on these with their GPUs. Then the Qualcomm Snapdragon has a different one again, whereas the MediaTek comes with a Mali G57 and Qualcomm comes with a Adreno 642L. Now, moving forward towards the machine learning and AI, then the MediaTek Dimensity 810 comes with a facial recognition engine, whereas the Qualcomm comes with the Hexagon 770, which is clearly a sight above. Now, talking about the maximum RAM support, which you get both of these, Processor is a 16 gigabytes of RAM of LPDDR4X at 2133 megahertz on the MediaTek Dimensity. The Qualcomm has a lower one at 12 gigabytes of RAM maximum of LPDDR4X at the same frequency. Now talking about the maximum display resolution which you can see on these phones are again the different. On the MediaTek you can see up to full HD plus content at a high refresh rate of 120 hertz. But the Qualcomm Snapdragon has an upper edge with the Full HD Plus resolution at 144Hz with HDR10 and HDR10 Plus content support with a 10-bit display. Now talking about the camera performances, how well the and the maximum camera resolutions which both of these processor can hold, then here's again a twist. The MediaTek comes with a maximum of 64 megapixel single camera and a 16 megapixels of dual cameras. Whereas the Snapdragon has again an upper edge with a single camera of 192 megapixels and 32 plus 22 of MP of dual camera setup. Now talking about the video compatibility maximum resolution videos which you can watch from take from these processor is at 2K at 30 FPS and even the slow motion at 240 FPS which is a decent one under 20,000 rupees. But the Snapdragon has again an upper edge which is the 4K at 30 FPS. Now Bluetooth connectivity side and how well the connectivity is for the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi goes. Then the Bluetooth 5.1 out of the box of the processor for the MediaTek and 5 Bluetooth 5.2 for the Qualcomm Snapdragon. Now talking about the 5G modem and the 5G speeds, then the 5G is not being specified on this MediaTek but it's indeed specified on the Snapdragon so both are indeed a 5G processor. Now in the processor or the Wi-Fi side, the Qualcomm has an upper edge with the Wi-Fi 6E when compared to the Wi-Fi 6 on the uh, MediaTek Dimensity 810. And the quick charging support also, MediaTek supports pump charge and the Qualcomm supports its Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Now closing off this round with the Antutu and the Geekbench scores, then here is the one which to decide. 
the meteoric density scores 3 lakh 87000 scores were as the qualcomm snapdragon crushes the meteoric density with a 5 lakhs of 122 score but as the geekbench scores again the meteoric has a lower one when compared to the snapdragon with a single core 626 and multi core of 1932 Now the score score of the Qualcomm is of single core of 768 and multi core of 2800. Now overall what we see in this comparison is indeed that the CPU cores and even the RAM support or what we can say is the better GPU camera support display resolution and even the video compatibility is better on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 and which is also evident with the Geekbench and Antutu scores performances, and whereas if you are getting both of these processor at the same price in the smartphone, then you should consider buying the Snapdragon 778G Plus phone. Now, if you are wondering which 778G processor phones you can buy, is you can also find that in the link in the description below. And if you like this video, give this video thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you feel on your opinion. And I'll see you in the very next one. Thanks for watching.